this is an add-on to a previous video I did where I showed some things like holding down control and using your arrow keys to move back and forth in words. But there's lots of shortcut keys that you can find useful to make you a little more productive when working in the shell. And I'm going to go over some of them today. As I just mentioned, you can hold down control and move arrow, your arrows left and right to move back and forth words at a time rather than single characters at a time. Now, let's say you're on a keyboard that for some reason doesn't have arrow keys on it. How do you move back and forth uh, letters? Well, you can hold down control and you can use the F key and the B key to move forward and back. F is forward, B is back. So it's holding down control and pressing those. And again, that does the same as the arrows. Uh, it's just if you don't have arrows on your keyboard or you don't like to pull away from typing to use the arrow keys, uh, it could definitely, if you got used to it, make you a a little bit faster using control F and B, but also very useful if for some reason you have a keyboard that doesn't have arrow keys on it. And there are some weird situations where that does happen. Um, not only can you use control F and B, you can also use alt F and B to jump words rather than single letters. So alt F to move forward a word, alt B to move back a word. Um, we can then also use, as you know, you can press D to delete a character. You can also press Control D. Again, this is very useful if you don't want to constantly move your hands away to the delete key, or if for some reason your delete key is broken, or some strange reason you don't have a delete key on your keyboard, I guess. But mainly it's just for productivity to make you a little bit faster. You don't have to move your hands away from the keys while you're typing. So that's Control D will delete the current character that you are at. Now we can also do Alt D, which will delete a word at a time going forward. I'm running out of line here to work on. Okay, so we've looked at moving forward and back and deleting forward and back. Uh, let me look at my notes here. Okay, so let's say you want to quickly jump to the beginning of the line. Control A will jump you to the beginning of the line. Control E will jump you to the end of the line. So A to the beginning, Control E to jump to the end. Control A and Control E. Um, control L clears the screen. I've mentioned that in previous videos. Uh, let's see. Control H is the same as backspace. So before we did Control D to delete characters, uh, to delete characters, Control H is more like backspace, deleting characters moving back. Um, and next we're looking at Control W. Control W will delete, as you will see, Control W, the word back. So this is a line I am typing on the screen right now. So if I do Control W, it's deleting word back. It's similar to hitting Control and, uh, or sorry, Alt and backspace. It's Control and W deletes the previous word. Uh, control K, let's see where my cursor is right there. Control K deletes everything on the line after your current cursor. Uh, control U should delete everything before your cursor on the line. This is a line I am typing out right now on the screen. Uh, so uh, we, again, that's control K to clear everything after the cursor. Control U should clear everything before the cursor. And obviously if you're at the beginning or end of the line, you can uh, clear out the line quickly like that. So you could use control A or control E in correlation with control W or control U. Uh, I'm sorry, control K or control U to clear the line completely. So I can quickly press control A and then control uh, K should delete that whole line. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to type it again. Uh, something else you can do is let's say you have a little typo such as this. You were trying to type line and you typed in lean. Uh, what you can do is you can hit control and, ta uh, control and T and that switches the letter that your cursor is currently on with the letter that is behind it. You can also do the same thing with full words. So instead of control T, we should be able to hit escape and T. There we go. So escape and T will swap the two words, the word that your cursor is currently on and the word before it. 
Um, and that is, I think, everything I want to go over today. So I thank you for watching. I hope you find some of these shortcuts useful. Uh, and as always, I hope that you enjoyed my video. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.